Welcome. Hello. Howdy. Good day. We're back. How's everybody doing? Good day. Happy Friday. Back for more Tau. More gaming. More excitement. More strangeness. More cryptic nonsense puzzles. Not even really puzzles. <laughs> We're going to play some more Tau. Welcome, everybody. Hello, Dana. Good to see you. Pressure. Welcome. <laughs> Those emotes are so powerful. Gonna play some more Tau. This game is really cool. It's very bizarre, very weird. So let's just play it. Let's just play a game. You're being chased. <laughs> Who's chasing who? The eternal question. Nobody knows. It's a really cool Famicom game. What are we, like nine hours into it? Nine and a half hours in. Just gonna play it till we beat it today. I am feeling optimistic. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Game. Game. Oh, I forgot the timer. We need to add to the timer nine hours, 37 minutes, and how many seconds? Six seconds. Very important. This is day number four of this game, and still nothing makes any sense. <laughs> nothing makes an ounce of sense. So let's get to it. Prologue? No. Continue? Yes. Zoom the timer. Time to enter the password. Goodness gracious. TQ apostrophe N capital P. Apostrophe. I love this password system. Three. I immediately lost track where I was. Okay. Capital M, A apostrophe. This takes all of my focus. This password is intense. 48 characters. Cannot mess up a single one. M apostrophe. Uh, C. Halfway there. M apostrophe plus M. Double L. Bop, bop. there. Y, X. Eight, e. Y apostrophe. C apostrophe. First time every time. Alright, back to Tau. 
Oh yeah, I saw the Pixel Remaster came out. I haven't played it. I haven't purchased or played any of the Pixel Remasters. I watched Dot stream Final Fantasy V for a while the other night. Final Fantasy V is... <laughs> I don't really like the game, to be honest. <laughs> it's probably one of my least favorite Final Fantasies. I get that the job system's cool. It's just... I don't like how you have to grind so much to take full advantage of the job system. I'm not a fan of that. Cause pretty much all the other Final Fantasy games, you can just play through them and you don't really have to grind unless you really want to. And you don't need to grind in Final Fantasy V either, assuming you know the strats and the weaknesses of the boss and how to build your, bar your party appropriately, but... If you want to take full advantage of the job system, you do have to grind a whole bunch, and it's very, 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 very tedious. But... Speaking of tedious, let's mash the A button. And <laughs> play some Tau. I've played Final Fantasy V a few times, like I've beaten it multiple times. I have the Game Boy Advance version, I have the PlayStation version. I remember playing it way back in the day on ZSNES, back when the fan translation first got released. <laughs> I played it a whole bunch. Like, it's not a bad game by any means. It's just not my favorite Final Fantasy. I don't know what to do in this game. I've never known what to do. We just wander and things happen. What are all these items? Um, okay. Oh, I need to equip my weapon. Gun. I kind of feel... Yeah, when I'm playing it, I kind of feel the same way. Like, I feel a compulsion to start just maxing out job levels and getting all those satisfying gold stars on the job screen. Plus, every job you master powers up the freelancer class, I think is how it works. And if you know where to grind, it's really pretty simple and quick and straightforward. It's just still grinding. So... I remember we got the holy water from the sewage plant, which is... Gonna allow me to kill the final boss. I told me to douse the final boss in holy water. Oh, oh, that's right. Let's go back to Tokyo. So this is a hybrid adventure game slash RPG, probably much more of an adventure game than it is an RPG. Or er, we essentially are trying to stop Evil Demon Lord from destroying the planet, I think? And we ride dinosaurs and fight tons of random encounters and talk to lots of people and kill lots of people. Oh, Seraphis! Pew, 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 pew! Got him. The ultimate goal of the game is to stop the Demon Lord by collecting... Dude, look at all this power. Eight trigrams. We got seven of the eight trigrams. So we're in very good shape there. We have six magic spells. We have seven talismans or charms. Let's go here. Door! How do you open door? Uh, you have to use this to open door. Ancient diagram shows Histar in medallion. We so we've already done that. This is, I think, the final boss's area. Your father left a demon sword below. I want it. Last time we got to this tile and got kicked out. Wait. Tendo Beetle Heaven's Passage. Jesus points the way. We got kicked out again. So we need to find out how to get past that old crone. The old bag. The battle axe. Jesus points the way. So probably have to go visit Jesus. 
<laughs> Awaken the ancestor spirit, charms light a path back to Realm. Okay. Realm is like some ancient benevolent god who is supposed to be Awakening? Question mark. Find Yoshiko, Heaven's Treasure Temple. Use the chakra figure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to end up buying the Pixel remasters or not. Probably not, to be honest. <laughs> Whoa, mutant man! So I've replayed and played Final Fantasy games plenty of times. I have. I have number one on the Nintendo. Fantasy. I also have the Game Boy Advance remake, The Dawn of Souls. I have number two. I have the F Game Boy Advance remake. Number three, I have it on the Nintendo DS. Number four. I think I only have number Final Fantasy four on my EverDrive, my Super Nintendo EverDrive. Five and six, I have the PlayStation versions. And <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, and beyond are all on Steam now. <laughs> I've still never played Live a Live, Live Alive, whatever it's called. That's dedication, playing them in Japanese. I was never up to that. <laughs> Trigram. This is all nonsense. Let's go get some Jesus. I remember playing Final Fantasy V on ZSNES when the fan translation came out. In the very beginning, you get to the ship graveyard or whatever and the emulator didn't support transparency and so you just couldn't see where you were when you walked underwater <laughs> so you had to disable sprite layers to find where you were going it's good times to Croston. Yeah, at the moment I'm literally just wandering. I don't really have a, a goal. I guess we need to find Jesus. Go root up! Cheeky! Oh, you revived! Yeah, I think we're extremely overpowered. <laughs> All of these random encounters and just aimless wandering has caused us to become extremely powerful. Ovuloid! Bump rump! At least until the next tier of monsters appear. Oh, double! Oh, it's Dano. <laughs> Will we see a triple encounter? Nope, just two. Dead return to dust beneath the earth. Oh, we're getting a language lesson. The doorway to one point. The door is not seen. Dead return to dust beneath the earth. Earth King, add one to earth, king of the world. Now, I might have to just use 
all of these items. Mirror? I have a grenade. I've never used the grenade. Take. Door is not seen. Add one to earth. Am I supposed to solve a puzzle here? Can't do it. Fight. Sometimes you just have to fight people. Because they're secretly evil demons. Firstborn saw his mother's grave. Oh, we've seen that already. That's old news. I like the enemy sprites. I like them quite a bit in this game. They're very good. The first boss was a lion. <laughs> it was an excellent lion. A king lion, I think. Jesus forms a cross. Center is the one point. So is this where the door is? No, we've seen this already. The ladybug nonsense. Seven spots. Originally it had six stars. God gave one point. Seventh star. Shell cracks. Ladybug fly home. Find one point. Your spirit will soar. Wild beast road sage. Wait, did that... Let's talk to the ladybug. Nope! Okay, we have to look. Future's way paved today. This is a callback to one of the previous NPCs. I remember that. Wild Beast Road Sage. Let's go back to the first area. I have an idea. A Sarsinovi. <laughs> bump rump. Bump rump. Take that! Oh, Stano. Bad karmas, agony, side kick, pow, 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 pow. Battle, frazzle. <laughs> I love the constant dialogue and chatter in the combat. Uh, I want to heal. Please, please move out of my way. Please. Thank you. Please. One more step. Thank you. Ride the dino. Back to Moskva. Angolm. I have an idea. Future's way paved today. So if we go back to this bottom left house. Beware demons. Yeah, thank you. Future's way paved today. Yeah, I now explain. Road of dawn is three gems. Road of dusk, death. To die is to go to heaven in peace. Okay. Have the last figure! Maladra! Old Buddha is the Buddha of truth. So nothing makes any sense in this game. I have no idea what any of that just meant. <laughs> we got a new spell. Old Buddha is the Buddha of Truth. So now, now where do we go? Like, what does this mean? What does this tell me? Who's the Buddha of Truth? Oh my gosh. Psychic power is invisible. Can I use my spell? Can't do it. Fight. Red Luna! Cast powerful spell. Maladra! The root chakra. If 
thunderstorms surround the whole world. Let's go to the shrine up there. Does that spell... Oh, I can't test it now. Battle Corrosion! I wonder if the final spell I got... ...heals me. Cattle Kajma Shrine, yes please. Birdly! Root Chakra Drain Life. It says Drain Life, but it doesn't actually drain life. The teachings are corrupt. Okay, thank you. To find three gems, the way must open. Four doors. Eye, nose, ear, mouth. Fifth portal of the skull, the door to heaven. Sir, thank you. Whoa! The Churner! I've never seen this monster. Three treasures can't have it, he's dead. Tell me about this. Fight. See ya, Bizarro. So a lot of these guys say the exact same thing they've said every time I've spoken to them. A lot of these NPCs I've literally spoken to dozens of times. So I can tell almost immediately upon talking to someone if they're saying something new or if it's the same old nonsense they've been spouting all game. But most of these people just say the same things forever. Mine's eye is the door. Truth was not here. That might be new. I, I don't know. Meditation master? Jabber. Oh, you leg shake. <laughs> Art of illusions? Evil thoughts vanish in Buddha's light. Uh, yeah, let's meditate. Focus our thoughts, try and dispel the illusions. Must. Concentrate the heart on one point to focus. Suzaku. Guardian Angel. Can we fight this person? No enemy. This is all very mysterious. It seems like that was very powerful flashing. It seems like the grand finale or the grand showdown will take place in heaven. Or perhaps I just need to reach heaven before fighting the final boss. And the hints I seem to be getting are indicating that I need to die to be reborn into heaven. Kill mother. No. Nope. Ahem. Oh, your poor mother. Why does she have, like, a cross on her hand? Can't do it. Uh, grenade. Can't do it. Talisman. Let's move on. I guess it's time to systematically revisit every place in the game. <laughs> if 
frightened pigs and cows. Lord Buddha. Who knows God's form? Death to prayers and the grave bells toll. Oh, the mountain witch might help us. Bird in the cage, will you fly? Dawn, dusk, crane, turtle, front, back, century ends, true prophet. That, that doesn't help at all. It's just pure nonsense. So moving on. Caliban has potential. Let's go back to the temple. Could be something here. So I'm worried that what I'm supposed to do is find a specific NPC and, like, use one of my seven talismans on them. But it's impossible to know. Rebirth in Paradise. Maybe I need to die. Um... <laughs> Heaven's truth, not atop a building. Thank you. I'm not I'm not gonna practice massage techniques. The guy is a creep. That's the billionaire's bodyguard. We're supposed to be finding these artifacts for the billionaire. We took his money and then left him. We're never gonna give him his artifacts that he paid for. Sir! 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 Thank you! Oh. Death Lord! to the sisters. They might help. The end of the world! That does not help. Superior! Ripping limbs! Fight me! Three treasures! Can't have it! Pleasant dream! <laughs> yeah, I think we're overpowered. I think we're strong enough to fight the last boss. It's just... How in the heck do you get there? Life is mystery. Planetary... I've seen this before. You want to harden your spirit? No, 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 no. The druggist. I think we can rule out Croston. I think we don't have anything to do in this area. Ugh, double encounter. I suspect it's in the... It's either something in Tokyo... Or it could be in this other area. Calabad, no. Canball. Maybe it's in Canball. Ancient One watches us daily. Altar. My altar. I'm 
really worried that I need to use one of my amulets or one of my spells in a very specific location and it's, there's just no indication that that's what needs to be done. But we'll see. We'll keep trying things. Hopper! Got him. Firstborn killed. Odd eyeball was driven into his brow. Meat grind! True three have no form, thank you. <laughs> Maybe the gun store. Let's go to the gun store. Perhaps the gun store has more guns for store or for sale. Priests sell heaven. Oh. A streaker. <laughs> hmm. Very mysterious. Bum, 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 bum. The land of lights, yeah. I've heard all this before. No, not this, the lecture again. Look. Go back to our mother. Heavenly paradise will open. Obtain the three. What? What does it all mean? Wicked curse down to hell. Oh, excuse me. Bishma. We'll talk to everybody in this zone. We'll talk to everybody here to see if something happens. Beyond darkness is a paradise. Dispel oh, we got the flashlight. So that's what I needed to do. I just needed to go get the flashlight. Oh, he's strangling me! Okay, we're fine. Are we fine? We're fine. I didn't mean to talk to him again. Man's third eye is clouded by delusions. What's the flashlight? Can't do it. <laughs> Teal. See, the difficulty is there's no indication of what I should be doing at any given point in time. The entire game revolves around just wandering around, talking to everybody, looking at everybody, sometimes looking at them and then talking, sometimes talking, talking, then looking, then talking, sometimes using random items. It's just, there's no sense of progression. Oh, well, there's progression. There's just no clues. 
You just explore. What is the flashlight for? I need to dispel the darkness with a flashlight, but what? I didn't... I forgot this word. Is she can't... I don't even know if we found any dark areas to use the flashlight on. Very mysterious. Gives every wish. Satan masquerades as God, Heaven's Cult. I think it's a mix of both, colon, backslash. I believe it's both. My understanding is that this game is kind of not well regarded, like the Japanese version in the first place, and then the translation is kind of, you know, I mean, this. <laughs> so it just kind of adds to the confusion. Death Lord. Man, those Death Lords are dangerous. Heal. So we got a flashlight. Avert catastrophe. Ethop? What is this? Oh, he's dead. Cross in the sky, portent to doom. I'm gonna start using the flashlight everywhere I possibly can. Mind's eye opens gate of spirit to have returned to heaven. The name is Door. Gatehouse Door is in the mind. What could that possibly mean? Sir? Sir, you're standing in the doorway. Sir, you're standing on the stairs, and second, sir... Let's just refresh the screen. <laughs> Scroll and souls are the same. Many thousand pray aloud in vain. Many thousands gaze up at the way. Spirit and sutra give illusory gains. Three gems, soul's way home. They kicked us out. Flashlight. Can't do it. I also have a lighter, which I haven't used at all. I have incense, which I haven't used at all. I have these discs, which I haven't used at all. These glasses, which I've never used. You can put on the glasses, but I don't know why. I have a grenade, which I've never used. I've got a bottle of poison. I have all these spells, which you might need to use a spell. Sometimes using these amulets does something when you're talking to somebody, so let's try all the amulets here. I've forgotten what most of these amulets are supposed to do. All I know is this one, the blue one, heals you. Nothing. take. Fight. Sometimes you have to fight NPCs. It's not clear when. Sometimes you have to kill them because they're actually demons and they just look like humans. Um, flashlight. Maybe the flashlight will let me get past the old crone down at the Tori. Content, spell, way of one point. Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Now, what was here again? Whatever shall I do? Hope is lost. Okay. See ya. Flashlight. Where could I use a flashlight? Door. So this might be the mystical door. Can't use the flashlight. Can't use the lighter. Last time I used these prayer beads, it reset the game, so I'm never going to use them again. What happens if I use a different totem? Oh, it's only that one. So is this heaven? Can I use flashlight here? Can't do it. Can I use incense? I want this demon sword. Can I walk through these walls? <gasps> oh! Uh, flashlight. Can't do it. Pass by, pass by the narrow path to heaven. Wait! Oh, I just needed the flashlight! And now I can go further. Okay. Progress. Woof! Good companion dog, Sheba. Uh-oh. Doggo? Are you a weapon? Dog! We got a weapon! Woof! Can we pet the dog? What's this? Battle? No! Alright, well... Can I not kill the soul? Can we... Burn incense? His star mask, the mask's eye flee seen. Okay. Maybe we have to kill him? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wicked curse down to hell. Let's use talisman. This is very hard on the eyes. Bloody revenge stomach jab. Got him. Battle. This might be a boss rush sort of situation. Let's cast spell. Um. Um. Spell? Battle. Run. Cannot run. Run. Uh, let's equip dog. Woof! Good boy. You got me. Why such hate? Forgive me! Is that a clue? Can I- can I talk? This is very hard to look at. Incense? We have to just burn the incense. <laughs> hey, Darren. Entrance backlog, welcome. Um, so I wandered around, talked to a whole bunch of people, and got a flashlight. And then, with the flashlight in hand, I'm able to make it a little bit farther into this zone. That's literally all that's happened. One time. Two time. Three time. Four time. Oh, how many times? After one time, avenge. 
let's kill one. Hijinx, foolhardy, a warrior. One time, two time, three time, four time. Oh, how many times? Okay, wait, 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 a warrior to hell. Let's, let's burn the incense. Skeleton crosses. It's Ridley! This is the billionaire. You have the three treasures? Enemy attacks! Oh, we're gonna kill the killing billionaires. Got him. Oh, okay, he's dead. Hey, it's Puffles. <laughs> uh, let's heal. This doggo mask bump rump get lost. Look at this. You have all seven star charms. Return the path of terror. Pass by, pass by. Yoshiko, his star's bride. I am his star's sacrifice. What? He he he! Celestial King! Ripping limbs! Okay. Eye gouge! Hypnotic eye! Pow 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 pow! Bam! Okay, this is... I think this might be a puzzle battle. Uh, um... Use the disc. Uh, cast a spell. Uh, cast this spell. Let's... Lighter. Do I do the holy water? I'm supposed to save the holy water for his star, the evil demon king. Flashlight. Can't do it. Uh, heal! Let's use all of the amulets. This one. The Hagen. Forgive Reese. Oh, okay. No. That wasn't it. I am his star sacrifice. Hee hee hee. Celestial King, four kings. This one. Rancho? Holy crap, I'm almost dead. Heal. Bunkyo? Cursed Bound. Ripping Limbs. Oh, Dog. Dog. No. Talisman. Water curse, fight me? I think you're just supposed to annihilate her. The inner sanctum crypt. Find his star's central lair. New music. Okay, flashlight. Flashlight on! Starting to pick up and I left on accident. Okay. I want to listen to this music. Thank you. 
I think that's a loop. Just what we needed, a maze at the very end of the game. <laughs> I don't think this will be that bad. I like how the flashlight just lights directly in front of you. This is like really cool. Um, let's just go all the way to the left. So there should be an old sword down here I need to find. The Dragon Sword. Erdrick's Sword. Whatever you want to call it. Loto's Sword. And then I can defeat the Dragon Lord. Egghead. Escaping? Got him. Okay, so it's just one big loop on the left. Death Lord, he might kill me. That is terrible to look at. Heal, heal, heal. Shuttle word, welcome. Magus! New monster! Easy. I mean, this game's really cool. It's just not... <laughs> it's hard to play. Because you never know what you're supposed to be doing. And so you just wander around and talk to people and fight monsters and talk to people and look at people and wander around. <laughs> it's really cool, though. It just doesn't make any sense. Oh, I wonder if that's the sword. Sins, water, fire, wind, death. Enemy attacks, it's death! Okay, death is dead. Sins, fire, water, wind, death. Let's fight death again. <laughs> Random encounter. Birdly. difference between games like Tower of the Sorcerer, La Mulana, and, and Tau. They play very differently. <laughs> I'm probably going to play more La Mulana soon. <laughs> I can't get enough of that game. Ooh. Gumballer? Your mama? Got him. 
I wonder if these are like the four evil demon generals. Oh, okay, that's the first floor. Blue wall. Top off the health. Can I go down? No. Mm -hmm. Stairs up. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is not just a linear <laughs> dungeon. Oh, boy. Well, let's keep exploring. This is going to be one of those mazes where you go up and down and back up and then back down. I'm excited. Oh, we made it here. Oh. Flashlight. Dun -da -dun -da. Is this a separate dungeon? Or is this where the sword is? Am I... Oh, I'm so confused. Just have to keep exploring. Deal. Oh no, there's a path up there, and it continues this way. Let's continue this way. And another stairs up. Oh. We're in the ultimate maze. Whoa, I need to step in the corner. Yeah, see, there's stuff in these corners. Gains. Got him. Music, though. This is really nice music. So there was a path to the left back there. So remember, oh, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. Pass by, pass by. <laughs> if this continues too much longer, I'm going to have to draw a map. <laughs> I'm gonna have to draw a map. So that way I can remember all the different branching paths and which ones I've explored and which ones I haven't explored. This is a bit... Heal! Goodness. Crimey. This is a bit much to keep track of in my, uh, in my brain. I think... I think it'll all be okay if we just wander. We'll try to do this map list for now. Ooh, what's this? Mystical pass-through wall. Oh no, if there's fantasy walls in this maze, it might be impossible. <laughs> yeah, I was able to see through the wall. So... Ideally, if there's any other fantasy walls, the flashlight will illuminate them. Okay, this seems to be in nothing over here. So let's go back to the top left. Oh, I've never played Fantasy Star. I want to play that game. It looks cool. 
Fantasy Star, I would definitely map that, because it's got the 3D first-person dungeons. I would definitely draw a map of that. This should be... What's this? Temple Thug! Got him. Sneaking Garudas. There's second health bar. fighting so many gains, even though he dies in one hit. It's very silly. Okay. Wait, I can't get to that left area. That's the blue zone. What? So those two zones are linked underground and then this above ground passage is simply for what ease of travel I, this is so mysterious there was another path here i believe i think there was another path that i skipped over I'd like to figure out how to get into the blue zone, but... I... don't remember if I took this staircase or not. I don't think I did. I think I went past it. So let's take the stairs. This should be the path forward. <laughs> I hope I didn't take these before. Oh, all these branching paths Let's go up. Oh no, where am I? I'm in the top left. Oh, it's Troll. <laughs> Very good! Oh, they got me. I've been trolled. <laughs> Let's go back. mean I'm gonna draw a map <laughs> no 
No more messing around. We're gonna draw a map this time. Can I not fight Garuda? Can I, like, somehow use the incense and just not fight Garuda? I don't know if that's quicker. Oh, ooh, let's talk to these people. Whatever shall I do? Your your daughter's dead. Hope is lost, okay. Garuda! Talk to these people. We found Yoshiko. We killed Yoshiko. Uh, heal. <laughs> Crawler's gonna run. Extremely powerful encounter rate. Right? Four bars of damage. That's really good. Door. Use the spell. Go through all this. Father left a demon sword below. So that's what I'm trying to find. Pass by, pass by. Whoa, this is new. A 108-ton gold Buddha won't move. Okay. How... How dare you! Revenge for Ridley! Ridley's the billionaire. Okay, I'll we'll kill him. I love those or skeleton, crucified skeletons. Those are very good. Teal. Graph paper out, time to draw a map. So we're starting in the bottom left corner. Turn right. And go to Fully map out this location. To make sure we don't miss anything. So it'll take a little bit. We're gonna do some backtracking, which is fine. Mm -hmm. 
like this song. Pass this one, two, three, four, five ahead of me. So there was a path back there that I missed. I think it's just a... that's where you fight death. That's the first death encounter. death. Oh, don't kill me, death. I'm gonna put an X there because that's death. So left, left, up, that's the entrance. So this is just one closed loop here. There's nothing special. So from the start of the maze, there's literally one path to take. Unless there's fantasy walls, which is possible, but unlikely. The soul. Yum. Does it stand here? Grind. Oh, uh, what's that? One, two, three. So another branching path here. Okay. why this death talks to you when the other ones don't. Perhaps there's a secret there, or perhaps it's just nonsense. Uh, 
one, two, three, four, five. So before I travel down that path, let's backtrack to hit this other little loop I didn't see. And make sure to fully map out this zone before moving on. So I'm pretty sure the stairs are to the right back there. Thank goodness I mapped that loop. There's nothing important here. One of the nice things about drawing a map is we can actually <laughs> listen to the song. Heal. That's another death. I'll fight it just because. Oh, blue ray! Never mind. Whoa! Got him. And stairs. can't fit another floor of the map on my on this page. So we got to turn pages. Okay, this is where we have the path outside. And it also continues onward. So this is actually a pretty small zone. So I can't con continue this map here. Monster, got him. This just loops around to the stairs. Next page. Looks like we're in the bottom left, so we'll start the map here. Encounter. 
Oh, this is... Now we're getting into the gains and counters. It's a gains there. I remember that. I'm standing there, so we can go up. One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles? Yeah. Temple, thug. So it seems like there's a little zone down below me that I can't access. Branching paths, we'll take the top one. Mighty bite. Whoa! Pressing the wrong buttons. Spasm, convulsion! Get him! Standing there, three. So I definitely missed something backwards. Let's go backwards. I must be. Fully accurate in my map making. Even if it's just like three tiles that link up to previous tiles. I need to double check it just to be certain. Because there's a sword down here I want to find. Also gives me a chance to check for fantasy walls. Hardly. Heal after this fight. Standing. Right there, look down. Okay. I'm right there. So this is like its whole whole thing down here. We got one, two, three, four, five. Turner. Stairs. 
Very mysterious stairs there. I don't think I've been on those stairs. It's extremely mysterious. They probably take me out of the dungeon entirely to back to like the starting area. No, no, that's where. I think those stairs are where you come in from the surface. Oh, cheeky strangle! So that links up to the first zone. Alright, let's go and try these stairs, because I'm pretty sure these stairs will just take me out to the, the map, the world map. Oh, how mysterious. They did not take me to the world map. this mean? <sighs> Garuda, just, 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 just go away. Is this the world map? No! Oh, I've lost all sense of direction. possible paths to take ALP <sighs> drawn maps the final area of Tau is just an enormous labyrinth <laughs> it's like at least four or five different floors and you go up and down between them multiple times and it's a bit out of control uh, you don't know which dungeon you're on at any given time Now, up until this point, all the dungeons have been linear. This is the first big branch. Because there's these stairs directly beneath me, and if I continue up and to the right, there's two paths that lead that way. So, rather than take the stairs, we're going to go up this way. Question mark next to the staircase to remind myself I haven't mapped it. So let's go right from here. Heal. Toxic man! Got him. Go up. Of course. Uh, look down. So from there we have three. Uh, let's go this way. It's 
almost certainly an encounter right here. Pass by, pass by. Some of these encounters talk to you. So I'm gonna put one there. And this... This death here speaks to you. So put two there. And that links up, so we're back to linearity, on this floor at least. This is a really good song. Uh, no, the hidden answer before was that I didn't have the flashlight. Because so I'm using a flashlight to light up the dungeon, which is actually really cool. But they wouldn't even allow me into here without the flashlight. I just had to talk to some random person who gave me a flashlight. <laughs> That's all it was. Still, this is very linear. There's the fantasy wall. We'll just do a little whooshy symbol there. Let me search on this tile. Look. Talk. Take. Choking death, breathe! Got him. This is gains. No, this is a death. Fortunately, the, the fantasy wall is very obviously a fake wall, because your flashlight goes right through it, and it's a different tile than everything else, so it's not too devious.
Oh, it just keeps going. This is enormous. Okay, right here. Second set of stairs on this floor <laughs> I've come across. I can see that, eh? Kinda does have a resemblance. Sword? Sword? Nothing! Nothing! Um, search. Uh, there's still more paths to explore on this floor before I start taking stairs. Mama. Games. Dead end. With nothing. So, in case you're curious, that's the map of this floor. Start in the bottom right corner there. It's just twisty turning worm tunnels. So we have two different staircases to choose from. I suppose this one on the right... That's just the map of this one floor. This is the third floor of the dungeon so far. This is the closest stairs. This one goes down, too. All the other stairs have gone up. So let's go down. There's blue. Okay. Now, I don't know where my reference is. Like, the screen is scrolling in all directions when I walk. So we're probably somewhere in the middle of this floor? Let's just wander briefly. I want to get to the blue zone. Oh, 
Okay, this is just a linear path, so I don't even need to map this. This is pure linearity. This. Oh, I didn't mean to walk back in. This is the bottom right of some inscrutable mess. So we'll just go... <laughs> At least they gave you a catchy tune when you're stuck in the maze. I can see a path up there, but I can't access it. Encounter? Scrap Serapis? Okay, this guy. Got him. Whoa! So standing there. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the wall. Bump rump. Yeah, I figured it would revive into this guy. This is going to revive into that chicken wizard. Uh, that's a strange looking wall tile down there. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five tiles. the streaker and revive chicken wizard all right let's heal oh, two of them double chicken wizard Karmas. Somehow I've gone a totally different path than when I initially explored this dungeon and got kicked out. Somehow this is a totally different way. That's a fantasy wall.
I wonder what the significance of those strange tiles, those pass-through tiles are. Assuming there is a significance, there might not be. the top of the map. Uh, so it's going to loop around this way. Choking death. Oh, I have to take the stairs. I didn't mean to take them again. So this... This is a whole new floor. Anger! Warrior to hell. <laughs> now this, I'm yet again reminded of why I don't like drawing maps on paper. It's nice to look at, it's nice to have, but I have all this space here. Do you think I can start the map here? Because I'm in the bottom left corner. Do you think this is enough room? It's impossible to know. We just have to do a new page. So I gotta move on to the next page. It's too risky, I agree. Encounter! 
Anger! The Anger Soul! See, I feel like this section I'm in is just the the left turn the left turn half of the previous section. Sword? No. There's supposed to be a mystical sword down here somewhere. <laughs> All we have are monsters in darkness. At least we're past the chicken wizards. It's just the exact same pattern repeating itself. Okay, this is new. Going. Mongol. Fantasy wall. Easily identifiable fantasy wall. Let's go left first. One, two, three, four, five. It's not really a fantasy wall if it's obviously a pass-through wall. The true delight of fantasy walls is the fact that they are indistinguishable from normal walls. Oh, it just keeps going up! I might run off the page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seventh tile is the wall. Let's go up here. Okay. Top of my piece of paper. <laughs> Can make this work. I have faith. Mm -hmm. 
Oh no. I'm running out of paper. No, a dog. A dog in real life. Welcome. Oh, I have a dog. Woof. <laughs> oh, the double encounter. I have traversed beyond the limits of paper. Do we... Oh. This looks mystical. Uh. This is so far beyond anything I thought was possible. Apologize if you are photos if you have photosensitivity issues because there's a lot of flashing lights in this game. It's just a little out of control. But you know, it's just how they made them back in the day. I've given up on mapping because I left my page. Hopefully it's just very straightforward and sane and civilized from here on out. I'm sure it will be. Oh, we're at the bottom. We're underneath. What's this? Anchor. Why is there an anchor here? Anger soul. Uh, I'm going to leave a note. Blue corridor looks important. Heal. Ripping limbs, ripping limbs. Flip. Heal! I said, oh, wow. Nervous there. Hey, abs nerdy, welcome. Anger soul. Oh, it's Gaines. He's dead. Chicken wizard? No, death. I wonder if I was supposed to go back down that spooky corridor. Maybe that's where the sword is. Heal. Okay, we've stopped scrolling to the right. Bump, bump. There's either something important up here or a total dead end. This should be Chicken Wizard. Um, okay. That was just a fake encounter. Oh no. this way. Let's just go in. What's the worst that could happen? Oh no, it's another terrible maze. Ooh, stare. This might not be a terrible maze. This might just look terrible and be absolutely civilized. I, yeah, this is good. This is good. Maybe we don't need the sword. 
Maybe you don't need Erdrick's sword to fight the Dragon Lord. Uh, stairs up here? No. Okay. Go up these two sets of stairs. Oh no. Leg shake. So you have stairs and stairs. Top or bottom, north or south. Hey, Briar Cub, welcome. Good to see ya. How do I even find out about this inscrutable game? I spend much time thinking about game and looking at game and reading about game and exploring for game. I, I have game on the mind frequently. And so, eventually you come across game like this. I have gone through, and let's see if I can capture this. I think it's gonna pop up. No. I've gone through and compiled a list. This will look like gibberish in Notepad of just Famicom RPGs that look cool. <laughs> so there's strange game, a bit confusing, but you need patience. To to talk to everybody in every town and explore. I didn't get into a fight in the 30 minutes I tinkered around. Those are my brief notes. These are all just Famicom RPGs, because there's so many of them. <laughs> with random notes as I like tinker around with them, decide if I want to play them or not. There's a couple really cool ones, like Dream Master. This game looks sick. Very cool scenario-based RPG. Everything is shrouded in fog that must be uncovered. You find items you can only use for that scenario. Kill monsters, solve puzzles. Game looks really cool. Uh, not all of them are Japanese exclusive. We have Heracles, no Ico. I remember streaming this one not too long ago. It's a lot of fun. It kind of devolves into nonsense at the end, but it's still really cool. Like Destiny of an Emperor, that came out in the United States. Dungeon Magic, Faria, came out in the United States. Ghost Lion. Swords and Serpents. Tombs and Treasures, I think that came out in the U.S. Doraemon game, that game looks pretty cool. Double Moon Densetsu, I want to play that one too. Goemon RPGs, I want to play those. Hoshiwo Miro Hito. This is like a legendarily bad Kusoge. Which I can't find a full translation for, otherwise I would probably play it. So... Musashi no Bulken. That game's really cool. Momotaru Densetsu. Yeah. I like to play game. That's how I find game. <laughs> That's my secret. Let's go up. Oh, we made it to blue. Okay, let's go up here. Hee hee hee, God Makona, bow down. Crane Turtle, all die. Got him. What's the meaning of reincarnation? Turning. Cursed! I got him. I'll devour! Celestial King. Okay, this thing. <sighs> uh, heal. The secret to this fight was to use the talisman, so let's use talisman. Cursed. 
I'm almost dead! Paradise is above ground. Keep going. Seven lives left. Just, just fight. I think the talisman sucks. Can I heal? Can I? I can't do anything. I do anything? I, I... I may have made a terrible mistake. We might game over here. I think I might be stuck, locked into eternal battle of death and just failure. Might... Oh, if I mash hard enough. But this guy had two lives, so... Rump. We lost. I made a horrible mistake using the talisman. Okay, he healed. I might. Oh, burst him down. Get him. Oh, he healed. <sighs> I gave up hope too easily. Four emperors. Taste Cursed Blade! Celestial King Varama! magic. Cast magic. I'm just gonna use magic. I think this is the way to go. Soul suck! Nope, nope, not cool. Last life. Shoot him with the gun! He healed! I think we had got him stun locked. <sighs> Your chakra magic, ha! Huh? Yadana! Alas, I have fallen. A fatal blow. Here! Your mission was to save Earth, rescue the world from annihilation, ascend from Hell's depths. All creatures are reborn, mankind. Destruction approaches. Return to life! Well, shucks. I don't have to get back there. Let's go. Now, I don't know if that is the final boss rush. Because those are like the four celestial bodyguards of Histar. Or if I have to fight them to get the sacred sword in order to fight Histar. I, I don't I don't know. Because there's other areas I could have explored. Now if I wouldn't have lost 17 lives. I use the talisman. 
It would have been fine. It broke my idols. It actually broke the idols. Okay, this is fine. Soul. I was supposed to use dog. Maybe I was supposed to use grenade. Perhaps the old Vajra. So here's the map so far. This is the first area. This is the second area. That's the third area. That's the fourth area. That's the fifth area. And then I stopped mapping it because I ran out of space off the top of the page. I guess this is the top of the page. And there's alternate paths in this dungeon I didn't even explore. There's quick, there's fake stairs that lead you out of the dungeon. I suspect I need to actually explore a little bit more thoroughly and find the sword before going to the boss rush. Hey, boot blacking, welcome. I, I honestly couldn't tell you <laughs> what we're doing. Or, I'm in the final area of this game. This game is inscrutable, it's a hot mess, it's really cool. And it's just an enormous, at least five floors or more of maze. So we're just kind of wandering through this maze. I've been mapping it out as we go. And yeah, we're just, you know, bump rumping. Enjoying the essence of Tao. And this game's really cool. I like a lot of stuff that it does. A lot of the graphics. The music's great. It seems to be trying to go into like some strange esoteric themes with ancient mysticism and all these different religions and tying it all together into some unifying theory, but it doesn't really work. So there's blue. So this is a above the final area. I didn't even explore the blue zone. Let's go to the blue zone. Let's just go to the blue zone and explore that. Rather than try the boss fight rush again, let's go to the blue zone. My power is at. I haven't checked my power in a long time. 37,000! I've doubled my skill since I started playing today. Okay, so now I'm here. 
This is the long area. So if I go down from here, there's the staircase that I didn't explore where that leads, but we're just going to bypass that. So this is why I'm happy I drew a map, because it's so much easier to navigate now that I have an accurate, complete map of some of these areas. Oh, this is just a linear path. I didn't map that linear linear path. Red Luna. Combat in this game literally is just mashing the attack button. <laughs> Faster you mash, the more stun locked the enemy is, so you just want to mash as quickly as possible. Sometimes flashing lights. Okay, so this is now the extremely long path up. Oh, I didn't mean to step here. This is the extremely long path up leading to the blue zone. So happy the music is good. I guess it's not that long of a path <laughs> once you have it all mapped. I didn't go this way. This. This could be something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Let's just go over here and explore this area. I don't think this is a good idea. I should be going to the blue zone. Or oh, whatever. Shuffler! It's God Makona! the blue zone. Well, what do you know? Oh. My son! Papa knew you would find me here. Demon Slayer Sword! Adventure was a good idea. I have faith in you! <laughs> Demon Sword! Now we can slay those foul demons. Red Luna! Zap! One strike! Okay, this sword annihilates. This is very good. This is very good. Oh, and it puts me here! Oh my gosh. It all makes sense now. This all makes sense. Here we go. <laughs> I think we're gonna win right now. Final boss fight, let's go. I don't know if this is the final boss. Okay, God Makona. Got him. 
crane turtle. Oh, die. What's the meaning of reincarnation? Returning. I'll devour. <laughs> Look at that. Instead of losing six lives, I lost none. Hee <laughs> hee, four emperors. Right, Varama. Heal, heal, heal. Okay, he healed. Just have to burst through his healing. Right back to where I died. Your chakra magic, huh? And Yadana. Oh, wicked curse down to hell, battle frazzle. Mortals perish. Dharma. Heal. South Pole. Why did he say South Pole? Mountain Temple Bell chimes. Returning home. Divana. Oh, his foot's over. His foot's overlapping the health bar. Oh, I love it when that happens. Pray unto his star. I shall grant thy every desire. Is this the final boss? Is this his star? This is unique music. Use holy water. Reprisal in hell! You! This is my lair! Immortal. Three jewels grant perpetual bliss. The universe is all mine. Must mash. Mash with all of our might. I can't even hit him. I think I was supposed to save the holy water for this phase. <laughs> I can't do anything. Oh no. Okay. Holy water. Evil eye! Oh, I lost the three gems. Whew, that was stressful. <gasps> we did it! Triple gems, vessels of truth. Your ancestors smile. Welcome to heaven. Aww. So long we stray, show us the way. Oh, I get the feeling one of these is going to trigger the end of the game sequence. Let's talk to the top one last. Earth cracks. Oh, salvation. Satori opens. Effort is futile. So you speak the truth. 
Oh, hi, Mom. The charms. Bless you. Have the last trigram. Realm's Ray of Light. There we go. It's number eight. We all come home to Realm. Let's go. Bird in a cage. Will you fly? Dawn, dusk, crane, turtle, front, back. Souls are birds reborn in cages. The cage door cannot open from inside. Outside a cage is paradise. If a door is opened, bird flies. Worlds. South, north. Pole. Shift on Judgment Day. Front back, God's truth. The door opens. Bird in a cage, will you fly? Dawn dusk, crane turtle, front back. Front back breaks. Old Buddha! One point. Three jewels. I wonder what that says. I wish I could read... The language. The cage door opens. 60,000 years reincarnation ends. Return again to Realm's origin. Day ends in sunset. Let's go home. all these character designers, how many people they had working on the awesome artwork. Sound music, there we go. Katsutoshi Ozawa. Name does not sound familiar to me. Did a great job. games VAP made, because I don't know this company at all. There we go. It's Tao. Thank you for the GG's, everybody. Hey, Juna. <laughs> it was intense, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What a transcendental ending. This game is bizarre. It's totally just weird and surreal and <laughs> just crazy. It's very much a, a Japanese-style adventure game where, you know, rather than solving puzzles, it's mostly just exploring and talking to people and looking at things and trying out all the different available actions everywhere you can. Now, I don't have a whole lot of experience with Japanese adventure games. Mostly I play Western and adventure games. I've played a few Japanese adventure games, like... On the Switch, I've played the Famicom Detective Club. Which is kind of from the same era. I think it's a couple of years earlier than this. 
I guess Shadow of Destiny on PlayStation 2? Those are really the only ones I can think of. Then the RPG battles were just kind of added in there just for a little extra element of gameplay, I suppose. I really like what they were trying to do. I feel like the, something was lost in the translation. There's no direction anywhere, ever. <laughs> Except for very rarely do you get explicitly told to go here and do this. It's all just exploring and talking and fighting and exploring and talking. But it's a really cool game. I enjoyed it. See if anything happens. Press start. Select. A, B. No. That's the game. Yeah, definitely a very unique game. And that's one thing I like about games. I like games that are unique and their own experience, and this is definitely its own unique experience. I mean, the translation kind of blocked me from getting into the, the story at all. I don't know if that's the translation's fault, or if that's the initial script's fault, or maybe it's just a touch of both. It seems like it was really cool how there's all the different areas with different themes. You have the Christian area, you have the ancient Shinto area, Buddha, the Calabad, kind of like a Muslimish area. And then you visit modern day Tokyo and there's like buildings and gangs and stuff. It's just all over the place. But it was cool. The battle system is literally mash. <laughs> mash the attack button. <laughs> Kawazu. We'll get back to him soon enough. So yeah, oh, that's Tao. An enjoyable experience, if somewhat difficult and inscrutable and impossible to figure out. Fortunately, the fan translation comes with a walkthrough, and if I didn't have that walkthrough, I don't think I would have ever finished this game. Just because a couple of the interactions were so unintuitive that you just couldn't have possibly brute force them. I, I mean, you could have, but I wouldn't have been able to. Great music, too. Even though it's short, repetitive loops, it's still really good. So yeah, that, that's that. That's Tau. Pull up my game list of Famicom RPGs and cross Tau off the list. <laughs> I really like these old Famicom RPGs. Like this era of RPG. <laughs> Japanese RPGs where they're. I mean, this one's kind of an exception, but so many of these games were heavily inspired by Dragon Quest and with the battle systems and mechanics. It's really cool when you get to see something that does its own thing like this. I'm happy I played it. Yeah, I, I, that's it for me. I got nothing else to say. Game's cool. Game is also kind of nonsense. But it's still cool. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. I, I guess we'll just wrap it up here. So, the plan is to start a new game this weekend. I'm probably going to do another La Mulana 2 randomizer tomorrow. Because I just love that game and want to play it again. And then maybe Sunday start a brand new fresh, fresh video gaming experience. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to play. I'd say there's like a 75% chance we go back to Saga Frontier 2. It's been sitting right here for months. Like, I look at it every day. <laughs> just waiting for the day we finally play it. But, you know, knowing me, I could just do something totally random and very different. 
Just have to watch to find out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Call it here for the night. A good Friday night. Uh, I'm gonna raid... I'll raid Captain Clever. Captain Clever started streaming again recently. He's a fun streamer to watch. He plays a lot of old DOS games and such. He's playing Elvira, Mistress of the Dark right now, which is a game I really want to play for myself. So I probably won't watch too much or raid Captain Clever. Elvira looks like it's really fun. Horror soft games are excellent. The same company that made Waxworks and Personal Nightmare and Simon the Sorcerer. I'm sure many other games that I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, take care everybody. Adios. Be back soon enough with more game. Farewell. Goodbye. See you. Sit here awkwardly 